when we were at school and again I look back now and I realize how lucky I was we were really told that we could do anything we wanted to if we put our minds to it and I, I believe that and I think when I look back I can see that I did I have taken those opportunities that have been offered to me and run with them believing that I could do those things even though my adult self looks back and goes wow that was brave um, I think you know I was instilled with that confidence and the, it's absolutely true if you do take the opportunities that are offered to you each step leads on to another step and I think that the values that were instilled in me by Loretto certainly were a large part of having the confidence to make those choices and that was a great thing. I did want to be a lawyer but I don't think I really anticipated what being a lawyer was about. It was really because I used to watch Carson's Law and I loved Lorraine Bailey. I thought she was really pretty and she was dignified and she was you know, really successful in a man's world and that's what I sort of saw myself as doing that was what was inspiring me and of course the reality of being a lawyer is quite different to what was being portrayed on Carson's Law. But I'm, in a way I'm glad that I didn't know what I was getting myself into because um, the thing is, it, it is a very exciting, interesting job, just not quite what I thought it was going to be. The thing about Loretto is, as I said, they really, we were taught we could do anything. I mean, I must say, and perhaps this is one of the things about the single sex school, it just wasn't an issue at all about whether or not a girl could do that thing because there were only girls there so of course it was part of what we were doing you know you were given lots of opportunities and you're good at some things you weren't so good at other things and that was all fine so there was none of this idea that some things weren't for girls to do and I think that um, that notion of uh, women in time will come to do great things was something that I didn't give a lot of thought to until I got out of Loretto and into university and out into the workforce where that does become quite an issue. Every single thing we did, we, we, we were taught about, we did with as much compassion as possible. And that was a real theme of the teaching that I experienced at Loretto, was putting yourself in other people's shoes. So having great empathy for others and to be to and have tolerance as well. I think those ideas of justice, tolerance and empathy encapsulate all of the Loretto values. And I've, whenever possible, tried to carry that through into the work that I'm doing. And um, I think the coronial jurisdiction is a great one for actually being able to encapsulate all of those things. Not only do we have a really important job to do, but to be able to do it with tolerance and empathy and to impart justice to people is a great privilege and I think that that has been something that's carried on throughout my whole career wherever possible. That's something which I've been very aware of coming down to the coroner's court because not only of the intense workload but the very, very distressing subject matter at times. Um, and I've been very focused on making sure that the staff here have access to appropriate debriefing facilities, but also trying to inject some fun into the workplace um, to make sure that when we do activities, we do them together, that I get to know people and we get to know each other outside of our work life so that we understand what makes them tick and what makes them special as people. I think you value your work colleagues much more if you get to know them in a personal sense. Um, also to work collaboratively with the scientists who work on site because we work so closely with them, again, getting to know those people and having good working relationships makes the workplace a much more enjoyable spot to be. So they're all things that I've tried to do and to focus on since I've arrived here and it does seem to be working pretty well. You can do anything you want to do and you should take all those risks, which I think I did know maybe instinctively, but it would have been reassuring to have somebody say it to me, um, that you should travel the world and keep as many options as possible open. And um, maybe something I might have done was think about a career or a profession um, which would have seen me be able to work overseas more readily. I think being a lawyer, whilst it's a really 
um, good career uh, is very tied to whatever jurisdiction you're in. So not just Australia, but in fact, Victoria. Um, whereas if I'd done something a little bit more, um, or sorry, a little bit less mainstream, I could have perhaps gone and studied overseas, maybe ended up working in France or something like that and used all those skills that Mrs. McKinnon gave me back in year seven. that this jurisdiction, the coronial jurisdiction, has been um, able to allow me to use my science degree a lot, to use the maths and the physics that I learned at school and to actually see how they relate to real life situations. So in accident reconstruction and uh, the other scientific aspects of some of those cases that I've done, uh, I've really been able to see the usefulness of what I was taught back way back in year nine, year 10, then carried through into university and how that makes a difference to be able to work out what happened in a particular accident and to work out how to prevent that happening again. That's been a great thrill and something that, of course, when I was uh, 15 or 16, I never knew how important those skills would be. And yet here I am still using them today. <laughs>